Hello and welcome to a very different kind of video from me, Mike Moans. I was lucky enough to get a promotional pack of the Dungeons & Lasers Caves from the team at Archon Studio. With the help of my viewers, we decided to paint these in wildly different colour schemes, things that you may find a little atypical. For example, we've done glass, we've done sulphur, and we've even gone for this radioactive green as well. In this video, it's just a catalogue of the paint I used and how to apply them. Starting off, we have a very traditional sandstone and our gloomy grey with just a little bit of green in the undertone. All of these were primed black and they were given a base colour, for example here, this was flat earth. And then three dry brushes of Japanese camo, dark sand and ivory. We tried to keep this to a very basic level for new painters and tried to keep them to one brand of paint. For the grey, we used a base colour of hydra green. We went in with a heavy dry brush of death reaper and progressively lighter with cold corpse blue and light sea grey. This one we dubbed the Rave Cave. With crystal structures like this, you can really use any colours you like, but for this, but for this we used Amethyst Rain, Ghoul Green, Raygun Glow, picking out the top edges with a dry brush of Trooper White. This is my personal favourite, it almost looks like sulphur. With me having the gift of a little extra set, I really wanted like an environmental corner I could do something with. I want to play with the dark vision because they can't see in colour, which with sulphur could lead it to a very interesting environmental effect. Again, we start with Amethyst Rain, Dark Sun Yellow, Skulker Yellow, and Yellow Flame, and finally picking out the edges in White Star. Trying our hand at a more icy grotto theme, we went in with a series of blues. Starting off with Marine Blue, Elysian Blue, Celestial Blue, and White Scar. Now these are a little interchangeable if you want to go with a more green shade, so maybe try the Sentient Turquoise. Inspired by the Xeno Jeeper boss fight in Monster Hunter World, I want to try my hand at this glassy crystal. We go back to our shades of Jade Green, Ghoul Green, Raygun Glow, and then White Star. For this, we changed our approach. We went in with a really solid colour to start with, and we wet blended in some warm colours. To do this, we started off with a Death Reaper base coat, Demon Red in the recesses, wet blending in some of that Skulker Yellow, and then a dry brush of Death Reaper and then Cold Corpse Blue to finish. Next up, something a little more lively. We wanted to go into those radioactive greens that scream danger. After all, these may not always be used for fantasy games. These could be great for Fallout. Starting off with a solid base coat of emerald green, we go into dry brushes of ethereal green, then talisman green, and finally craven yellow, which has a wonderful pop to it. At this point, we decided to take it in a new direction, using paints from our old Dungeons & Caverns core set. This is from Army Painter, and the idea is you cut your own pieces out of foam and build your own dungeon. I have to say, the paints are absolutely abysmal. We applied the paints here as per the instructions, and the brown came out almost like a chocolate mousse. It was shiny from the get-go, it took five base layers, and it only got worse the further we went. This is the best salvage job I could do. You will notice this is the first time I've used a wash this video. The main reason why is we don't want exceptionally long drying times when trying to batch paint a dungeon. So following the painting guide that came with the box, it was a base coat of cavern base, which took five layers, a dry brush of cavern highlights, and then a dry brush of cavern effects, and a wash of this subterranean green. This here is the grey stone from the same box set. While it did apply better, it still looks very bland to me. This was done using the cavern base, a quick dry brush of cavern highlights to add some muddy effect, a wash of black brink, and then a dry brush of cave highlights. With the three core sets and all the sub themes, you're going to have so much to paint with Dungeons and Lasers. If you don't want to paint it, they do have brand new Prismacast, which is all pre-painted for you. This footage is directly from the campaign. I do urge you to check it out. I know this video is a bit different and really is just record keeping for my painters, but thank you very much for watching all the same. And thank you to my Patreons for supporting all the content I do here on YouTube and Twitch.